Good day everyone and welcome to day 18 of the Baileys Do Disney Orlando vlog series. So today we're checking out the Rosen Inn on the International Drive. We've just done that, it was an early start and now we're checking in, we're going to check in at the Lowe's Pacific over at Universal. We booked that so we get early entry onto the rides for two days. So that's one of the, one of our tips. You okay mate? Yeah. You excited? Ken's yes. got his Harry Potter Gryffindor, although he's not a Gryffindor. He's a Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. But I haven't had a coffee this morning yet and I'm literally, so the coffee in um, in the hotel room here isn't great. However, plug, plug sockets galore. There's loads of plug sockets. It's a it's comfortable bed. Um, it's cheap and cheerful, so I'd highly recommend it. I wanted to say, when we left uh, Rosen Inn, I said about the coffee in the room not being great, but I went to the reception to uh, hand the keys back in and I got a coffee. There's a cafe. Later, and I'm thinking, where the hell is he? There's a cafe. Let's get onto the footpath, guys. Um, there's a cafe, but in the gift shop, they've got a coffee machine in there. $1.60 or something for a coffee this size. So, worth getting. I feel good now. I feel so much better. Um, but yeah, we're here now. I'm alive. <laughs> we're here now. We're going to uh, get checked in. We're not getting our room, but we're going to check in and get our express pass. That's what I was trying to tell you. Uh, we get express passes for today and tomorrow for one night stay at a specific universal hotel. So it's definitely worth doing. Plus early entry, you get into the park at eight o'clock. I'm just gonna put this in the bin, guys. You get into the park at eight o'clock as opposed to the regular peasants. I mean, other guys getting in at nine o'clock. We are the peasants, we are the peasants. So um, yeah, this is the Royal Pacific Lowe's. I don't know, how, how much was it, sir? A night, do you know? Oh, okay. But yeah, you can do that through BA. A night, right? No, it's not five hundred dollars. It's not, is it? <laughs> Tell me, it isn't five hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, BA, which which means you can pay differently as well. But the the place looks really nice. It's the queue to um, get our tickets because when you get it, you have to obviously get your tickets for early entry. Um, so you queue up, you get your tickets. Yeah. You see our bags over there, aren't they? Hope nobody takes them. They've got our Cheetos in there, haven't they, sir? Don't say it too loud. <laughs> but yeah, you do the queuing, you get to the front, they give you your room, and um, yeah, they give you your room and uh, your early entrance tickets. You coming up? Yeah. Ugh, you say hi. Hi. But yeah, we're looking forward to it, aren't we? Yeah. Me and Callum have said we're gonna go on Velocicoaster first thing, and then Sarah's gonna go on it, so yeah. Are you, are you looking forward to Velocicoaster? No. <laughs> I'm really not, I'm really not. I've got to do it because if I, if I leave this holiday without going on Velocicoaster or Holt, I'll be very disappointed. I've heard it's the most intense ro uh, roller coaster in Orlando, um, followed by, or maybe even more, Iron Guazi with Bush Gardens, but we didn't go over there, so maybe on the on the next vlog we'll do that one, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I wish we did. I know, yeah. We'll go next time. That? Bush Gardens to do uh, oh, yeah. the Iron Guazi. That's, that's, why you, that's why you changed the plan, isn't it? Because you were yeah, too scared. Yeah, scared to go on Iron Guazi. <laughs> I, I don't think I could do that one. So you're actually allowed to check in or come in, I think from six, but our plan was to get here around seven. That way you get here, get all your tickets, because as you can see, there's quite a queue now. You get your tickets, and then you, you're obviously not, not allowed into the hotel room yet, because that isn't until later on. But you get your tickets, and then you can walk to the park from here, and then you're allowed into the park from eight. So that was the plan, and that's what we've done the last two years, or two trips. However, this time, we've just, we've just been a bit lazy, haven't we? Yeah. We've had every intention to leave the room at a certain time, but then I'm it's not even. Becky on this one. Becky blogs. Yeah, she messaged us. We spent so long just messaging Becky back. Well, I keep saying Becky blogs with us, her real name. It's not. It's Becky Al Al Najar, is it? If I don't know if I pronounced that right, so sorry if I didn't. But yeah, um, yeah, we spent a while messaging her back. But yeah, even like we'll say, oh, we want to leave at eight o'clock. It's not even like we're ten, fifteen minutes late. We're about an hour late every day. <laughs> We've been terrible this trip, but it's still been good though, hasn't it? Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to put you down because you're, you're really heavy. So, that is us all checked in. Um, took quite long, didn't it? The line was long. It's because we're here late. Yeah. yeah, we turn it late. Like I say, we normally get about seven. What we should have done was get her at seven. Um, that probably, realistically, if we wanted to get at seven, we should have woke up about five. We didn't wake up till... You didn't get out of bed till quarter past Quarter past six, six yeah. So, realistically, how is that even going to work? It wasn't. We had, the bags weren't packed. So, anyway, we're here. We've checked in. We've got our room keys. We're not allowed in the room yet though. Um, the reason we got our room keys is because that's where the express 
pass is on and then there's a footpath so there's three options you either get a water taxi which takes you on the water here to city walk you can get the bus to city walk or you can walk to city walk she said walk basically it takes 10 minutes to walk uh, the water taxi she said the queue is so long um, and then the bus she said it's really long as well so yeah we're walking over to city walk now it is beautiful isn't it? I love the water as well they must dye that water because it's like a, a really nice blue but yeah you excited Paige? yeah we're gonna grab some breakfast as well aren't we because we so haven't hungry. even eaten yet I am so hungry oh, I'm so hungry I mean I, I don't know coffee, how I'm hungry or the amount of eating on this holiday I put on so much weight but I don't care because the no. food is so good no it's been I know this is like our third trip here and this is by far being the best this is something Guardians of the Galaxy the new ride at Epcot opens tomorrow, opens tomorrow. Our tickets for Disney stop today. We're allowed to Disney today, it's our last day of the way it works. Over 18 days, you're allowed 14 of the days. Today's the last day. So, so we, we miss it by one day. So your bag's open two seconds. Cam, can you do a bag up, please? We miss it by one day, which is, um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, Just but means yeah. we've got an excuse to come back, right? Exactly. And I said that to Sarah, I said, you know what? There's the water taxi that we were going to queue for. So it's not actually that big either, is it, really? Two, four, Probably, I don't know, 40 seats on there? 40 seats, yeah, it's that's coming back though. Moment. No, it's not busy, but that's coming back for Universal. Nobody's going to be coming back at this oh, time of day, are they? Yeah, got you. So, um, yeah, so it means we've got to come back to do the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Here we are, Cinnabon to start the day. Never had a Cinnabon, so looking forward to it. What have they got up there? They got the, oh, Sarah, they got the Caramel Pecan Bon. That looks good. They got the standard Cinnabon. Yeah. Also, a bit of a change of plan. Um, Velocicoaster isn't included. That and Hagrid's, new, new Hagrid's ride, is not included in the uh, Express Pass. So it, was, it would be a wait, basically. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to use Hulk. Or you're going to use it to go on Hulk. And then tomorrow, when we've got early entry, then we're going to come on it. Because we're just going to run to it straight away. Literally, run to. I don't know if running to an extreme ride is the best thing to do, but yeah, we're gonna run to it. So that way, hopefully I'm out of breath and all I'm thinking about is controlling my breathing so I don't think about the ride too much. It looks horrendous. But yeah, so we're gonna grab a Cinnabon and then get on hold. We've got two Cinnabon sweeties, a classic Cinnabon roll, and a center of a Cinnabon Two regular Cinnabon rolls. Which looks, oh, everything looks amazing, it smells amazing. How good does that smell? And I'm really, really hungry, so I can't wait to eat it. Wait. <laughs> so, so, let's try these. That's very good. The Cinnabon, caramel, and pecan is so good, like. That is a solid 9.5 out of 10 then. Cinnabon, verdict is in. Callum, Sarah, what's your thoughts? Better than Gaston's. Good? It's the best cinnamon roll bun, whatever you want to call it, I've ever tasted. Yeah, they're good. Um, the centre bit that I got, the caramel pecan centre one, was better than the actual roll, but honestly, so much better than Gaston's, which is saying something, because that's a solid solid um, snack. So yeah, my opinion, Sarah's opinion, Cam's opinion, this is the place. We're on our way to Hulk. Yay! Callum's excited. Go it's on one on. I need to tick off the list. Oh, I can see Velocicoaster in the background there. Look at that. I can't wait to ride Velocicoaster. Hashtag not really looking forward to it, but yeah. Holy whack-a-mole, let's get on it. I'm so excited. I'm not. That's a soft hold. What did you think? It was, uh, um, again, amazing. That's your third time, that was my first. Wow, that was really good. Really good and really fun. I know it's a bit outdated, like people have said, but it's just fun. I really enjoy that. We're going to go and find Sarah now. Um, and then tomorrow, like I said, we're going to do Velocicoaster. But yeah, we're going to find Sarah now. Um, I don't know what the plan is for the rest of the day, just maybe try and get on a few more rides. Oh, that's something to know. If you want three refill cups here, for one, it's 17 99 that's three refills all day. And this is the station here. So you get one of these cups here, it's 17 99 and you get three refills. So 
it's not badly priced really uh, but then it goes down the more cups you buy basically the cheaper it gets if you buy I think it's six cups you get them for 12 99 so if you've got a big group of you but first we've got bags uh, drinks in the bag we've got about five or six throughout the day so yeah and to be honest I don't want to be drinking fizzy drinks throughout the day because I'll yeah I'll just not feel good one fish two fish you can put your base cap on the joint I love that one too you want to take your how old are you are you let me guess are you four I'm three you're three. I was close. You're three. Very good. And who's this? Oh, that's mommy. Oh, okay. Very good. So it's a girl's. It turns out Universal are also on the lounge fly bandwagon. How awesome is that, though? Like, that is genuinely so cool. Dr. Zeus lounge fly bag with the Grinch. So, this is the shop we were just in here. It's in Dr. Zeus land. This is the new uh, Hagrid's ride. <laughs> Callum, the song. Yeah. Dance, Callum. Yes. Callum, do some Fortnite dancing. <laughs> what do you mean? Never been in here, but it's called All Hallows Boutique. Very excited. Ooh, spooky. Oh, wow. It is like, if you like Halloween, this is your idea of heaven. This place is awesome. Me before my coffee. Yes, because in Universal and Disney, there's Christmas shops, but there's not, well, it's the first Halloween shop I've seen. This is awesome. <laughs> no, not scaring you. Huge fan of the Halloween job. Did you like it in there? Yeah. Peter, it's not spooky, it's cool. Um, yeah, it was really cool. Like loads of Frankenstein stuff, uh, loads of Halloween stuff, wasn't there? Yeah. We've just come out of the Frankenstein Halloween shop there, and look what's it. It's Hogsmeade, and some kid has just walked past. Absolute Muggle 101 has just walked past. Said, "What's Hogsmeade? I've never heard of that." And his mate was like, "Oh, that's basically the train you get from uh, Diagon Alley over to Hogsmeade." I'm gonna hold this. I'm escorting him from this park. That's it? Yes! Yay! The ones are around between 50 and 70 dollars. They're all interactive now, they didn't used to be. They used to be interactive and just plain ones, which are cheaper, but they're all interactive now. And you're given this map here. So this one is Hogsmeade. It is, isn't it? Yeah, Hogsmeade as you come in there. And all these spots here are the interactive parts. And then on the other side, so that's Island Adventure. And on the other side where you've got Diagon Alley in Universal Studios, they've got exactly the same, but a little bit more. But yeah. For 60, 70 dollars, it's definitely Mommy's worth doing. Here. It's a bit of fun. Mummy's here, woo! Jurassic Park. It only mean one thing: Velocicoaster. However, I've just done that Hogwarts ride. What is it called, sir? Forbidden Journey. Forbidden Journey. If you've got motion sickness, do not ride Forbidden Journey. Excited, oh my gosh. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Myself and Paige are currently sat in the child swap um, in Velocicosa. Basically, the way it works here, I think it works similar to Disney, but we, haven't, we didn't used to. Any rise that Paige isn't tall enough for, or can't do, um, you go all the way, queue together as a family. And then as you get towards the front, Paige and one parent will come and sit in the child swap area, which is just a seated area with a screen, um, some films on it, she's happy. 
and then basically wait for Sarah and Callum to come off the ride, they'll come meet and then I can go on with Callum or Sarah, probably Callum, uh, because Sarah obviously need an adult in it with Paige. Uh, but yeah, it's a really good um, facility to have, as opposed to coming out and queuing again with the other parents. So it is really good, and like I say, the area itself is really, um, yeah, really efficient. Okay, Paige. Yeah, fun. Is that nice? Also, another random tangent tip of the day. This is probably the most random tangent tip of the day for the whole vlog series. Is um, and that says something. Is basically, if you're interested in coming to Orlando, or want to do Disney World, or want to do Universal, and you're interested but you don't really know where to start, there's a few Facebook pages. The main one is on Facebook called It's Orlando Time. We've been on that for years now, probably I don't know, seven, eight years, if not longer. So informative. You honestly, without that page, I wouldn't know half the stuff I know. Um, likewise, there's Disney World Junkies, which is more American-based. Well, It's Orlando Time is aimed towards the UK um, people. It's all under time, and then yeah, Disney World Junkies is aimed towards more. It's everyone, it's UK, but more Americans. So that gives you insider tips as well, where to eat, etc. But that's really good. And then, secondly, this is part of the same tip: follow some YouTubers that do it. Is that good? Yeah. Now, I, had a, I had a brain freeze. You had a brain freeze. No, tea freeze. Oh, tea freeze. Mm. Is it a good ice cream though? You went for a Hagen Dazs. It was five dollars. Five dollars for a Hagen Dazs. I think it's all right. It's three quid, saying can I? Um, but yeah, um, Disney Coffee Blog is my go-to guy. Him, All Ears Net, uh, Disney Food Blog, there's a few on there, but just like all those pages. Um, follow those on YouTube, follow them on Instagram, follow them on Facebook, and honestly, the amount of information that you take in is so good and so worth it, because yeah, coming out here is an absolute minefield. I ended up going on Velocicoaster with Callum, with a child swap, and it was, Incredible, the most intense, amazing, enjoyable ride ever. It was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing, wasn't it? What did you think, Callum? Amazing, the best ride I've ever done. It's literally so fast. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to explain. It's just it's the best, the best isn't ride it? ever. It is. It's scary but enjoyable. It's honestly, they've hit everything right. There's some bits in there that I did not see coming. Did not see it coming. So yeah, we did a child swap. So Sarah and Callum went up first. They came out. So I was like, you need to do it. And I'm so glad I did. I don't even know how to explain that. It is just as intense as it looks in, not even on the video, in I real life. I didn't even make a noise, I was that scared. Oh my days, it's, honestly, it's got some great little hidden gems in there. That is honestly, best ride in the world. There's no way there is any ride better than that. So the current wait time for Velocicoaster is 40 minutes. That is not even bad. When you consider that Harry Potter's at like, what is it, 120 minutes on some rides? That is the best ride in the world. And genuinely, I would queue for, I don't do queues, I would queue 40 minutes for that, 100% I would. Red is a trigger color for our raptors, is what we use to signify feeding time. Do you have any snacks on you? No, no snacks? All right, just hold out your fingers, we'll eat those instead. No, I'm kidding, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to step over here on this side. Say the word snack, she gets very excited. Gonna be nice. Yeah, we're gonna be nice. Step okay, that's all. Do you wanna give her a little pep right here? Let's put those. It's her favorite spot right there. Good girl. Awesome. Say bye. Great job. Bye. Say bye. Good girl. Thanks so much, y'all. Stay safe out there already. Take care, buddy. Thank you. Of course, likewise. So we've left Island of Adventure now. Um, what a day, by the way. What an absolutely incredible day. Um, we are now heading back to our hotel, which is Royal's, Royal Pacific Lowe's, or Lowe's Royal Pacific, whichever one it is. We're heading back there. I uh, don't know if I mentioned earlier or in this vlog at all, but basically, we stayed in a villa for 18 days, and then we decided, actually, we want to do a bit longer. We want to do a few more days. Um, so we checked out the villa yesterday, stayed in a Rosen Inn for one night on iDrive, then we're doing one night here at Universal because you get, as I've stated, you get your express tickets um, and early entry, so it makes sense. And then we did, come on, Paige, this way. And then uh, tomorrow, so we're um, staying at another Rosen in a different one though. So we, we bolted three days onto the holiday, staying at three different hotels. We said we wish we would have just kept the first Rosen in just to keep the bags in for more than anything else. 
but whose idea was it to do that? Yeah, at the time I was like, nah, it cost an extra fifty dollars to do that. That was that would have been it, fifty dollars. So we really should have done that. But never mind, we're here now. Just claimed a bed already? Yeah. Yep, this is my bed. It's been claimed a bed. We have to. I don't know whether there's lights in here. There's going to be sharing. Don't oh, no, no, just turn off that light. It's the bathroom. <gasps> oh. Sorry if you've got epilepsy. Oh my gosh. Look. There's a coffee station down there. There's not. I, I know, I'm trying to get the lights on, guys, but oh. there you go. I'll use my tip. Woo, she found this. I thought it was in the shape of a Mickey head. I was like, what are you doing, Universal? Right. Um, look at that. So you've got your coffee machine down there. Oh, this is so comfortable. And then you've got, you yeah, feel like you get a free bottle of Fiji water, which you're like, well, that's really good. Until you see the $7.50 price tag. So we'll be leaving that back here. Nobody touch that water, or else we'll have to get a loan out when we get back. <laughs> you spent $6 yesterday on one cup of soda. You've got um, some plug sockets here, Sarah. Yeah, you found some loads of lights. You've got three plug sockets here, which is really good. Um, you've got two USB ports on the actual clock. So that's what we want to know, isn't it? What The beds look comfortable. Are they comfortable, Cam? They so look, comfy. You've got, you got more plug sockets. Whoa. Yeah, this is annoying. You've got one USB 2 there, another USB 2 there. Then Hair dryer, so that's important for a lot of girls. Where does and men. Um, Where is this meeting? It's in another room, but we're not allowed in there because it's locked. So yeah, all in all, it's a really nice size. So we've just stopped at Chick Fil A because um, we're starving. It's now half four nearly. We're on our way to Animal Kingdom, but we haven't eaten since we had that cinnamon bun, so we're really hungry. Um, you can't. Make, well, you can see the bag of food, but we're not going to vlog it. It's too uncomfortable to even do that. But yeah. Never had a Chick Fil A before, so are we excited? Yeah. Yeah. Got our magic bands back on, and we are at Animal Kingdom. We just parked up. Um, interesting fact: if you watched our vlog a few days ago, now we came to Animal Kingdom actually in the evening. It was the night of the storm. Cool. Um, we came through the gate about six. It was closing time was eight, and there was nobody on the uh, parking, so we just drove straight through. Free parking. Parked up. Got really close to the front as well, so there's no attendance out. Anyway, we're coming now about half past four, so we've still got a few hours of left to open it. And it was uh, attendant on. And I said to him, What time do you close like the booths? What time? You... And he said, We're not allowed to say. It's like a bit of a hidden secret. He said, But I'll tell you, it's between six and seven. So if you are coming to Animal Kingdom, uh, it closes at eight at the minute. It might change, obviously. But between six and seven, that's when the parking stops. So if you just want to come at, for basically for an hour in the evening, don't want to pay the $25. We just paid $25 to come for a couple of hours then it is definitely worth coming between six and seven and then grabbing a coffee, seeing Pandora at night and riding uh, Expedition Everest. Yeah. Yeah. Where are we off to first? To get my teddy. To get your teddy. That was the main re reason we came today, was to get Paige Fox's teddy. That's been going on about. I'm so oh, look who it is. Ramon and Pumba. Ah, Simba. Kevin! It is Kevin. How cool is that? It's okay, you're not a fish or berry. So Paige has found her leopards. Which one are you going to pick? Which one's coming home with you? They are all the same look wise, but they've all got different personalities, haven't they? <laughs> They're not a dog, why am I whooping? You pick one, Paige Pops. Oh, you picked your favourite one. Oh, look how cute he is, he's coming home with us. So I came back to Dino Land to get the cold brew ice cream float so good I look genuinely it's one of the best drinks ever
send help. What happened? Don't record me. I had an accident. <laughs> what happened? So basically, to fill in. I've got it on. He was vlogging. <laughs> Juice. Trying to record his ice cream float coffee. Went to drink and spilled it all down his life. My hand eye coordination was. Attempt <laughs> two. Are you not going to put that one in? So, it's actually me trying it now. I don't know if I'm going to put the old video in or not, but anyway. This is one of the best drinks. It's from Dino Land in Animal Kingdom. $6 cold brew ice cream float. So good. At least you didn't spill it down yourself this time. We all have accidents. Yeah, I was decaffeinated. <laughs> So that's us in Pandora. We've had a good good evening, haven't we? Yeah. We um we just did a bit of dancing there on the street, which was really good. I'm sweating after that though. Um, we've done some pin trading. An old couple came up to us and traded. What they what did you trade? Basically, for it? I got a grumpy, a Stitch Mickey head, and a Winnie the Pooh yeah. ice cream. And it. they basically they just wanted to. Uh, they were like, oh no, it's kids. They whatever one they can give me whatever one they don't want. So it was really nice of them actually. And Paige. Show what you've got from the couple. You got that Dale, didn't you? Yeah. And then you've got that one up there, down there. This Dale on a rocket. Um, so yeah, thank you to that couple. I didn't even get their name, I'm really sorry. But yeah, they just said they come here just to make the kids happy and do some trading and yeah, give them good pins for whatever one they want to swap for. So that's really nice. But yeah, we're about to go and get the Night Blossom and then go on Navi River Rapids and then do some more pin trading. Um, to note, there's six places on Animal Kingdom that do pin trading. So Pandora, Africa, Dino Land, Outside Expedition Everest, and I don't know the other two. Night, night, last, night, night last Blossom Blossom Night. Uh, yeah, we just ordered that. It's our third one of the trip. I say ours. Sarah loves it, and the kids love the Orbeez, or whatever they're called. So yeah, it tastes like it tastes like a Twister. Like you know the old Twister ice creams. That's what it tastes like. So if you're gonna get one, if you like Twisters, they're really nice, really refreshing. Um, yeah, it is a good drink. We're about to go on Navi River. River. Is it Navi River's journey? Yeah. Navi River journey to end. No, no, no. This is the chilled out one. We're going on Navi River journey just to end our holiday. It's going to be the last Disney ride we do of the trip, and it's amazing. Say bye to Tree of Life. Goodbye. Say see you when we're back. Keep blowing kisses. <laughs> oh, I hope that's got hyper mobility. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Don't know what happened. I, 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 yeah, I don't know what happened. Really? <laughs> Look. What's happening there? I don't know. Let's talk to Mirabelle. Let's talk to Bruno. <laughs> you know what? You're my favourite pepper tea. Can I say my first toy? Is that right or is it not? No, it's not because you said pepper tea. No, it didn't. You're my favourite pepper tea. It's not pepper tea. Yes, it is. No, mm. it's not. It's deputy. You're my favourite pepper tea. Get it wrong. You are getting it wrong, unfortunately. You're saying Bepity. It's Deputy. Not Bep. Dep. Dep. You're my favourite Bepity. Yeah, Bepity. Bepity.
You're my favourite Dapper Day. Did I get it? We have left Animal Kingdom. It was lovely, wasn't it? It was perfect. It was honestly amazing. A perfect way to end our trip to Disney because when we left Magic Kingdom the other day, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I felt that was just a bit, it just didn't feel good. It felt a bit down and oh, just sad because you look at the castle, you say bye. But Animal Kingdom, because it's definitely my favourite park, is Sarah's as well and Paige's. Um, although, well, Magic Kingdom is always going to be Sarah's favourite because of the castle. Back again, across the city walk, about a five, ten minute walk, and then we're going to go to Hard Rock, which we're really looking forward to. Um, not sure what we're going to get to eat yet. Are you hungry, mate? A bit. A bit? We'll have a look at the menu. So yeah, we always normally get the nachos and buffalo oh, wings. Good mac and cheese. Well. Good mac and cheese as well. But yeah, we, we come every trip. It's like one of our favourite places to eat. So uh, yeah, we're going to go there and uh, yeah, enjoy some decent food. There she is, Hard Rock Cafe. Just found out, we've always looked on this a massive cafe. There's a concert in there tonight and that's the restaurant there. So I didn't even know there was a concert and a food hall. It makes sense now with the size of how big it is. But yeah, we're going here to the food. The starters are here. We've changed up a little bit. We normally go for buffalo wings and nachos as a starter and they normally just, that would be it until maybe a dessert. But today we've just gone for some boneless buffalo wings because they are amazing. And then we've gone for a main each. I think I'm getting the steak. Um, Callan's getting mac and cheese and Sarah is getting um, the fajitas and then Paige is now hungry so she's just going to graze amongst our three. This is mine, I went for the New York strip with chips instead of mash and broccoli. Callum, what did you go for? Mac and cheese. Oh yeah. And then Sarah went for the sizzling fajitas. That looked and smells incredible, as does that. And I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> what did you think? Good. Good? Amazing. Amazing. It's not good, it's amazing. We've just finished. That steak I just had was so good. Paige loved it. She's never eaten steak or never really gone for it. Look at her. She loves steak. She wanted the thicker slices, but yeah, it was really good. Sarah, you liked it, didn't you? That, that New York strip was cooked perfectly. How was your fajitas? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 fajitas. Steak was 9.5 out of 10. It was really good. Don't feel like they made it better if it was a filet mignon. But it wasn't, so the price reflects that. It was about $34, I think. How was yours, Callum? Good. Good, happy? Very good. Good. Everyone happy? Yep. So happy. So happy. Because uh, we're on a birthday trip. Um, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's been his 40th birthday. A few vlogs back where we went to Hollywood Studios, he did lightsaber building. And also, so if you he have a... doesn't like chocolate. Also, he doesn't like chocolate. He got chocolate, but... He didn't like dark chocolate. Well, it's Callum. You don't need sugar. No, but anyway, um, a few vlogs back, if you want to go and check it out, we went to Hollywood Studios for Callum's 14th birthday, uh, where he built a lightsaber and they both built droids. So that was really good. Um, but yeah, he just got this. Where is that from the staff. And then um, he also got this as well. It says he gets a gift when he leaves. So yeah, pretty cool. That is our meal done. City walk at night. Wow! You got the uh, Universal Globe over there. I don't know if you can see it in the distance. But yeah, Paige, watch where you go, baby. Paige is loving life. She's a little party animal. She's got more energy than me. What did you think of your meal, Callum? Oh yes. Good. The moves are coming out. Party it's Central. My birthday trip. Yeah. I got a. Yeah, oh Callum got a gift for his birthday. So that concludes day 18 of our Bailey's Do Disney Orlando vlog series. What a day. It's currently about 10 o'clock at night. We're back at the hotel. Sarah's packing over there. Paige is just in the shower somewhere. And um, yeah, we're going to end this vlog. But what have we done today? And how Velocicoaster. good and how good is today being? Velocicoaster. Paige says see the dinosaur from the other room. Um, the Hulk, yeah, or Hulk. Wow, I, I, yeah, it's been such a good day. How good was today out of 10? 10. 10. 10. 10. Paige says 100, 10 everyone else says 10. 10. 10, it was a 10 out of 10. What's tomorrow? Day 19. Day 19. So we've got two days left. Big one. Tomorrow is Universal Studios slash Iron Adventure. Tomorrow's our last full day. Oh, it's just hit. 
oh that's sad isn't it but then to be honest it's been amazing so day 19 tomorrow last full day and we get to go and see our dog and have a much needed rest for my legs honestly my feet are killing are yours sir yeah really my feet my body is just like people always say oh, how amazing is Orlando it's like yeah it's amazing but you need a holiday after the holiday to recover from it we're excited to share it with you thanks for stop highlights of the day I nearly forgot the most important part of this whole vlog Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster, 1,000,000%. Velocicoaster has 100% been the highlight of the day. It's been incredible. It's, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not an adrenaline junkie. Velocicoaster is by far the best, ride, the best in the ride in the world. In the world. You have to come down, mate. It is so good. It's the best ride in the world. It is literally on another level. I'm not a huge uh, roller coaster fan, but that today has been the highlight of the day. 100%. Bar none. Uh, Paige has gone into the bathroom again, but her highlight of the day would 100% be getting this little guy. She's waited ages to get him. She's won him for about two weeks, so I don't know if we've got a name for him yet, but um, yeah, that would be her highlight of the day because she's been going on about it all day. Thanks for watching, guys. Really do appreciate you uh, watching it and taking the time out of your day to, to watch us, basically, which still sounds quite weird, like that people even care what we're doing. But yeah, thanks for that. Um, Please, if you haven't already done, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, do all the good stuff, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.